All right, up next is gonna be the dragon nymph. Uh, this is a dragonfly nymph pattern that'll be new for this year, uh, should have just come out. And I'm gonna start with, this is a C450 and a size 10. Also comes in a 14. 10's a little easier for videos. Gonna use ADOT Vivas thread. And this is a light olive. Just come in here and put a little thread base down. Work back up to that notch. Cut the tag in there. I'm gonna throw some bead chain on. This is just you know, a black nickel bead chain in a medium. Take my arrow scissors here. If you, have, if you don't have arrow scissors and use bead chain a lot, you need to get your pair. Put them right in that notch. Cuts them right away, doesn't dull your scissors, it's great. So I'm gonna add those right there above that little elbow. I like to do eight to 10 one direction, eight to 10 the next direction. And you do your frapping wraps, which are under the eye, but above the hook shank. I do about eight to 10 of those as well, depending on how many, how big of the, you know, your thread or how big of the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. Really keeps those eyes in place though. There we are. Those are not going anywhere. All right, so I'm gonna take my thread down. Not all the way down the shank. I'm actually be right, right about there. It'd be right in between the hook point and the barb, if, if there was a barb. Now I'm gonna throw in the abdomen. This is a little different. So I'm gonna actually use Senio's laser dub. This is in a light olive. I'm gonna take a pretty good clump. About like that. Straighten all the fibers. So just kind of pull it apart, stack it back together. Make sure you have you know, nice straight long fibers in it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it in half. go. Kind of twist those fibers together. I'm going to trim off the really long fibers to where I have most of my fibers can reach that point there. Tuck them in nice and tight. Then I'm going to take my lighter and just slowly burn this down. Let's take some practice but it just kind of melts and you can press it together. Be careful, this stuff can catch pretty quick. There we go. A little bit more. There we go. And then you can just pull back any fibers that didn't get melted together there. You can see there's quite a few long fibers there. And then honestly what I like to do is just take a little bit of super glue, cover it, or even some good UV resin, cover the, you know, all that melted stuff there, and, and then it's rock solid. But once we have that, we're going to tie that in. There we go. And I want this to hang out, you know, roughly a hook length. There we are. And then I'm not going to trim out all of this. I want it to help build up a 
thorax there. So gonna leave a pretty good amount to tie up to the dumbbell eyes there. There they are. My dog's screaming. Hey, bud. Wake up. All right. Next is let's take a sharpie, and we're gonna add. Throw a half inch in here. We're gonna add some bar into it. Use a brown sharpie. I'm gonna come in and make about four bars. Side a little darker there. Okay, so we've got our barring. Now we're going to add in first set of legs. So for the larger size, the size 10, I like to use perfect rubber. Now I do change up the leg material on the smaller size and I'll use like a Uniflex or you know one of those type of materials, um, sexy floss, you know, all sorts of, they're all the same thing really. Any of those work, but this is perfect rubber in it's called motor oil is the color of this one. Come in and put one leg on each side here. And I like to just tie them in half and bring the other one around. Just like that. All right, I'm just gonna leave those hanging out the back. Next, I'm gonna take Grizzly Olive Hen Saddle Feather. I'm gonna strip away all the downy fibers on it. Don't want any of that. And I'm gonna be tying this in from the tip and wrapping away from me. So I don't need this side of the feather here. Just want that side there, that way it lays back. All right, tie in tip of the feather there. Just wrap this right there in front of those legs. All right, about four wraps there. Tie that feather off. Now we get that stem down. All right. There we are. All right. Next step, I'm going to take some Whitlock's SLF dub. This is in a Colors near enough, sculpt an olive. I'm gonna be pretty generous because we want to build up the thorax here. We're gonna get a good layer of dubbing on it.
Here we are. I throw a little bit more on the back side here. All right. I'll take my thread, put it right in the middle of that thorax there. I'm going to add my other set of legs. Let's take one strand on each side here, tie it right in half so it creates two legs on each side. Tie those in nice and tight and then more dubbing. Use that dubbing to position those legs how you want them. All right, I'm gonna take my dubbing, I'm gonna advance in front of my legs here. I'm going to start wrapping or dubbing the head. Just kind of figure eight around those eyes. What you don't want to do is have those legs to where they, you know, push back. You want them to still stay forward. There we go. And then you come up to the eye of the hook there with finish. And then we're going to just trim our legs. This back leg, I want those to be just shy of the end of that abdomen there. And then these front legs, I like to have these about the length of that hackle, which runs about halfway down the abdomen. Make sure those are even. And then the front ones are going to be about the same size. There we are. And that is Dragon Nymph. And it is a, I really designed this to be a cart fly, but it has caught just about everything in the past few years. Um, I would definitely, definitely look at it. It's a great still water pattern.